has been initiated. And the computers here in the firing room, the ground launch sequencer is now controlling the countdown. There will be over a thousand parameters checked by the ground launch sequencer between now and T minus 31 seconds. And at T minus 31, the ground launch sequencer will hand off to Space Shuttle Atlantis on board computers. Latest balloon data shows that everything aloft is good. PLT, connect essential buses to fuel cells. Connecting the essential buses. Essential buses are connected. So after Atlantis reboots the space station, it will have increased its orbit by approximately 25 miles. DLS is go for OAA retract. Retracting the orbiter access arm. It can be put back into position in less than a minute if necessary. Milestone will be starting the auxiliary power units at T minus five minutes. The pilot will flip three three switches in the cockpit. APU pre starts complete three gray talkbacks. Copy. T minus five minutes. Let's just go for orbiter APU start. PLT perform APU start. Starting APU. CDR reconfigure heaters. CDR, that's a win. Terminating liquid oxygen replenishment at this time. T-minus four minutes and counting. DLS is go for purge sequence four. T 
going through the orbiter's aero surface profile test, checking the rudders, speed brake. Main engine gimbal check. The steering check and the three main engines. Check, complete and good. T minus three minutes and count. Start the pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank. Preparations now to retract the gaseous oxygen vent harm. TLT, clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. We have no unexpected errors. Clearing the caution and warning. And the beanie cap now being retracted. Caution warning is clear. Topping off of the fuel cells has been terminated. Close and lock your visors and initiate OT flow. Best wishes on your mission to service the International Space Station. Copy that. We're on our way to the station, and we'd like to say thanks to everybody who has made Atlantis and us ready for launch. See you in about a week and a half. DLSS go for ELH2 pressurization. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Minus one minute of counting. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. And the solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. Final check of the solid rocket booster steering commands now underway. T minus 31 seconds, the handoff to Atlantis's computers has occurred. 45 seconds. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6, 6, start. 4, 3, 2, Lift off of Space Shuttle and Lance, a Space Shuttle for the 21st century.
range from the Kennedy Space Center, 10 and a half miles. All systems on board are continuing to perform well. One minute and 48 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 22 miles at an altitude of 24 miles. The next major event will be the burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. A booster officer confirms good separation of the two solid rocket boosters. Atlantis now at an altitude of 34 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 42 miles, 2 minutes and 25 seconds into powered flight. Atlantis, two-engine Tau. Copy, two-engine Tau. With that call, in the event of a single engine failure, Atlantis could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Zaragoza. Telemetry continuing to indicate that all three engines are performing as expected. All systems on board continuing to perform well. Two minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 69 miles, traveling at a speed of 3,600 miles per hour.